Hyundai Motor Group is not just another car manufacturer, it is the third largest automaker in the world, by volume. As of January 2024, it has become the fourth most popular brand in the United States, positioned directly behind industry giants like Ford, GM, and Toyota. While much of the world focused on Tesla's batteries and BYD's platforms, Hyundai made a strategic move that shifted the direction of the electric vehicle landscape. Rather than committing solely to pure electric power, Hyundai surprised the industry by introducing a next-generation hybrid engine, a machine with the potential to challenge not only EVs, but the entire automotive industry as we know it. This is not a conventional hybrid. Its true innovation lies in its dual nature, the smooth, silent efficiency of an electric motor combined with the raw power of a gasoline engine. Achieving a seamless balance between these two systems has been a long-standing challenge, one that Hyundai appears to have perfected. The most impressive aspect is the driving experience it offers. Drivers can enjoy electric-like efficiency with the convenience of gasoline, eliminating the need for constant charging and relieving range anxiety. Simply get in and drive. The car intelligently decides when to operate on battery power and when to switch to gasoline, thanks to Hyundai's advanced technology. This bold strategy clarifies one important point. The future of mobility is not solely about full electrification. It is about developing technology that works for real people, balancing affordability, practicality, and reliability. With this step, Hyundai has not only joined the competition but has also disrupted the entire EV market. The pressing question now is how much of a lead this will give them and how significantly it will impact their rivals. To understand how Hyundai reached this pivotal moment, it is helpful to look back at its origins. The company that now stands alongside Tesla and BYD did not start with power or privilege. It began with a simple vision during difficult times. Hyundai Motor Company was founded in 1967 in Seoul, South Korea, when the nation's auto industry was still in its infancy. Despite humble beginnings, Hyundai aspired to compete on a global scale. The founder, Chung Ju Young, envisioned a Korean company that would make its name known worldwide. Initially, the company focused on minor engineering and assembly work. In 1968, in collaboration with Ford Motor Company, Hyundai launched the Cortina model, marking the true start of its automotive journey. However, progress is not achieved through partnerships alone. Chung Ju Young believed that Korea should produce its own car, and with that vision, the Hyundai Pony, Korea's first indigenous car, was launched in 1975. This was a critical turning point. The Pony was more than a vehicle. It became a symbol of national self-reliance and established Hyundai's identity in the hearts of the Korean people. Gradually, the company expanded its reach internationally. Throughout the 1980s and 90s, Hyundai entered markets in North America, Europe, and India building its reputation on affordable pricing, reliable performance, and attractive design. In 1998, the acquisition of Kia Motors further strengthened its position. By the 2000s, Hyundai had transformed from a car manufacturer into a global brand. It began investing significantly in research and development, opening centers in Germany, the United States, Japan, and Korea. The focus shifted from merely selling cars to leading innovation, this brings us to the development that captured global attention. While the world watched Tesla and BYD advance their electric battery technologies, Hyundai chose a different path. It focused not only on EVs but also on a hybrid revolution, an approach that would shake the foundations of the existing EV market. Hybrid technology represents a significant shift. At a time when the automotive industry seemed to be moving entirely toward electric vehicles, Supported by government subsidies and growing charging infrastructure, certain practical challenges began to emerge. The limitations of EVs including inadequate charging infrastructure, lengthy charging times and high battery costs started to affect consumer confidence. This is where hybrids including both traditional and plug-in models gained traction, particularly in markets like the United States, South Korea and parts of Europe where fuel prices and environmental policies influenced demand. As a result, Hyundai now sells approximately 800,000 to 900,000 electrified vehicles, including both EVs and hybrids, annually worldwide, and these numbers are projected to increase significantly in the coming years. What distinguishes Hyundai's strategy is its balanced approach. While some manufacturers committed entirely to electric vehicles and overlooked hybrids, Hyundai recognized that not all markets are prepared for full electrification. Challenges related to charging infrastructure, electricity costs, 
and long travel distances remain significant in many regions. Therefore, Hyundai offers customers a choice, pure electric models for urban use and hybrids for greater flexibility. This smart strategy allows Hyundai to appeal to both traditional car buyers and those seeking electric alternatives. Hyundai has also made substantial investments in electric vehicle development. Its Electric Global Modular Platform, or EGMP, which underpins models like the Ionic 5 and Ionic 6, supports fast charging, from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes and offers a range of up to 500 kilometers. The platform also allows for spacious interiors due to its flat floor and efficient packaging. These features enable Hyundai to compete directly with Tesla, often at more accessible price points. Looking ahead, Hyundai is fully committed to an electric future. The company aims to sell 2 million electric vehicles annually by 2030, nearly six times its current EV sales. To achieve this, it is investing over $18 billion in EV development, battery production, and new manufacturing facilities across the United States, Europe, and Asia. A major EV factory in Georgia, USA is already announced and expected to begin production in late 2025, manufacturing next-generation electric SUVs and pickup trucks for the North American market. Another key area of focus is solid-state battery technology. Hyundai is developing next-generation batteries that promise higher energy density, faster charging, and improved safety compared to current lithium-ion packs. Success in this area could provide a significant advantage in the EV race. The company's rise is a testament to its strategic patience and customer-centric innovation. Rather than forcing a single technology, Hyundai empowers drivers with choices that suit their lifestyles and local conditions. This approach is resonating globally, as consumers increasingly seek practical and reliable solutions over ideological purity in the transition to cleaner transportation. Hyundai's commitment extends beyond powertrains. The group is a leader in hydrogen fuel cell technology, with the Hyundai Nexo showcasing its capability in zero-emission mobility. This diversification into hydrogen, alongside batteries and hybrids, positions Hyundai as one of the most comprehensively prepared automakers for a multi-pathway future. Furthermore, Hyundai is investing heavily in software-defined vehicles, connectivity, and autonomous driving. This ensures that regardless of whether a vehicle is electric or hybrid, it will be equipped with the advanced features and seamless digital experience that modern drivers expect. The goal is to create cars that are not only efficient but also intelligent and deeply integrated into the user's digital ecosystem. The automotive industry is at a crossroads, and Hyundai's strategy offers a compelling blueprint for success. By embracing a flexible, technology-agnostic approach and focusing on real-world usability, Hyundai is not just competing, it is helping to define the next era of mobility. The company demonstrates that the ultimate winner in the EV race may not be the one with the most batteries, but the one with the smartest, most adaptable strategy for a diverse and evolving global market. On the hybrid front, Hyundai plans to continue offering hybrid vehicles until 2035 in markets where EV adoption is slower, ensuring it does not lose customers in regions with underdeveloped charging infrastructure. Hyundai's strategic advantage is its balance. While other automakers gamble entirely on electric vehicles, Hyundai is investing wisely in both hybrids and EVs, tailoring its offerings to the unique needs of each market. The company is not simply following trends, it is shaping them. From design to technology, Hyundai's vehicles now compete confidently with those of Tesla, Toyota, and BYD. If Hyundai maintains this trajectory, it may soon become the world's most trusted electrified car brand, not because it was the loudest, but because it listened the most. In short, Hyundai is no longer just catching up, it is now setting the pace.